Hey, it's Jeff with YourLearningCareer.com. If you're looking for a really fun way to add some interactivity to your next training session, I've got something really fun to show you today. It is a Jeopardy style quiz show template, which you can download for free. And I'm gonna show you where to do that. And then I will show you how you can customize it to fit your training class. So let's go check it out. The PowerPoint file, it looks like this. And notice there are 56 slides here. The heavy lifting has already been done because not only are the slides built, but all of the interactivity that you need in this PowerPoint, it's all there. And let me show you that. So we are going to go in and customize this, of course. But before I do that, I want to show you how it works. Um, and to do that, I'm going to go into slideshow mode. So I'll just click that and from beginning. And there it is. And so you can play this game really however you want. It, you see it's set up very similar to Jeopardy. So if you want to do a pure Jeopardy game, by all means, you can do that. Um, if you want to get creative and come up with your own rules and ways to play, you can, but it's um, it's very it's it's a very flexible template, and there's a lot of different ways you could use it. But um, you know, if I were to use it like a traditional Jeopardy, where um, someone chooses a category, so let's say they pick category three and they say they want to go for 20 points, well then I'll just simply click on that 20, and it's going to jump to that question. So you can see here right now there's a placeholder it says category 3 question for 20 points of course we're going to change that and then when I go down here to the bottom right this arrow takes me to the answer and then I go here to this arrow and I am back on the board and this is really nice too. check it out this has um, the 20 that I clicked it's grayed out so now I know I can remember that, oh, that, that one's already been done. And now I can go to my next question. Maybe I want to go to category five for 30 points. So I can go there and again, it's going to take me here to the question. If I go back, it'll take me back to the board. If I go forward, it takes me here and I can see the answer. And then again, I can go back here and it's grayed out to let me know that that question has already been answered. So there you go, it's very easy to use. Now I'm gonna hit escape and let's start doing some customization because of course you want this to have your questions and your answers and there might be some other customization that you wanna do. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that right now. So the first thing I would do is I would go in and start changing these categories and now all I have to do here is highlight the text and I'm going to pretend that I'm using this game for a new employee orientation. So what are some categories I might use as part of my new employee orientation? Well, maybe I'm going to have a safety category and then I'll have a benefits category, history. Maybe I'll ask some questions about company leadership. And then finally, I'm going to have some questions around company culture. Now, if you don't have five categories, that's okay. You, you can, again, you can update this. You can delete a row of, of these. Um, like I said, this whole thing is, is totally customizable. So um, that's the first thing I would do as far as customizations. Now you could also, you know, if you wanted to change the color, maybe you have a particular color scheme or color palette that you want to use. That's very easy to do. You know, when you click on that, you get the shape format up here and I can do a shape fill and I can change that color and I can also change the outline, right? Now the other, uh, if I were to change the color, then I would probably want to change the colors as they show here with the questions and answers. Um, now those I would do in the master on the master slide because you can see 
there are several slides of questions and answers with that color. So I would go to view and then the slide master and then that way there are a lot less colors to change. You know, I just have to change these few, you know, these couple of slide things. Um, I'd go in and change those colors if I wanted to. So that's some customization option right there. Right now I'm going to leave the colors as they are. All right. So I've got the categories. So probably the next place I would go would be to start doing the questions. So if I go to this next slide, this next slide is just a placeholder. It, it actually is never used in the game. It just tells me that the first category questions are coming up. So I actually want to go to this slide three. That's where I could ask my question. So in this case, it's a safety question. Let's say um, the question is, what is the code for a fire? Okay, oops, question mark. And then I'd probably also change my category one here to safety. And then the next slide is the answer. So I would again just select that text, put in the right answer, code red. Again, I'm going to change this category to safety. And that's it. And now I've got that. So now I'll show you in slideshow mode. If I go from beginning, here I am. So I've got my customized categories. And now if I go to slide, um, sorry, if I go to 10 points under safety, look at that. What is the code for a fire? My contestant answers. I go here. Yes, it is a code red. And you win 10 points. And now I go back to my board. So that's what I'm going to do. So for each one of these, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, for each one, I'm going to put my questions. Now, um, if I wanted to, maybe I, maybe I want the, you know, maybe instead of 10, 20, 30, maybe I want 100, 200, 300. Not a problem. I can simply go in. Um, if I right click and then I click edit link, I can go in and change that 10 to a 100 just by adding that zero. And now it's worth 100 points. So I can go and do that. So I can change the point totals very easily. Another thing you could do, maybe um, I want to change the hyperlink color. So right now, these are white. And then they turn this dark gray after they've been selected. So maybe I want that to be different. That's another thing I can change. And to do that, I would go to Design. I'll go over here to Variants, Colors, and then I'm going to Customize Colors. And here's Hyperlink. So you can see it's white and the dark gray. And if I want to change those to something else, I can do that. I'm going to cancel. So again, lots of different things you can do. You know, one more thing I might do just for fun is let's go back to the question slide here. So maybe I look at this and I think, oh, you know, that's kind of boring. Maybe I want to add a graphic or some sound. And again, that's something else you can certainly do. So in this case, maybe I want to have a picture of a fire here. So to do that, it's real easy. I just go to insert picture and I'm going to use now you, you can use whatever you use for pictures you know some people have subscriptions to different things for the sake of just being quick and easy for this demo I'm going to go here to online pictures and I'm going to type in fire enter I'll keep that creative commons only checked and then I like this one. This this one has a transparent background, so it's kind of cool. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit insert. And now with my question, I've got this cool fire. Look at that. And that looks like it's exploding at me. So, I, you know, I can place it where I want. Maybe I'll put it over here to the side. And there you go. And then maybe I want something else. Uh, maybe I want to add a little more pizzazz here for, for code red. So again, I'll just go up to insert. Let's see what we can find 
here pictures online and I'll just type in code red and let's see what we get here oh I like this guy uh, let's see here how about this I like this insert code red I don't want it to cover everything so I'm gonna shrink that down and then I'll put it there and there's my code red so now again when I when I go to my slideshow I just want to see what it looks like here's my 10 oh look at that that's cool now I got fire what is the code for a fire it's much more dramatic and exciting and there it is code red so you can have a lot of fun with that so you, you know you can be really creative add graphics just like with any PowerPoint you can add sound you can add uh, video whatever you want to enhance your quiz show but that's just a really quick easy way if you're looking for an activity um, like this a Jeopardy style game that you want to use in your training class this is a great flexible template that you can use and best of all it's free all right well I hope you found that helpful if you like these types of videos please be sure to subscribe I always like to look for new uh, tools tips and tricks to share with other learning professionals and we'll see you next time.